Hello there. Welcome to Hard Copy, where we bring you the people behind the news. I'm Maupe Ogun Yusuf. Tonight on the program, I speak with a former Deputy Senate President, Senator Ibrahim Mantu, who says he's now a born-again politician, asking him what sins he had committed as a politician to warrant the statement of being born again. Senator Ibrahim Mantu, thank you for coming on Hard Copy. Thank you, too. Nice to see you. Well, let's start with your statement and the declaration of Professor Adeni Ronford, the chairman of the PDP. You said, I'm now born again. Whatever I say now is the truth. Some people came to the PDP with nothing and left with billions. Now, you also said, after fasting and prayer, I fasted for 30 days and night, asking God to show me who would lead the party. God showed me Adeniro. Let's now look forward and make sure that we elect a credible chairman. We should make sure that nobody shortchanges us at the national convention. A national convention has since ended, and mm. Professor Adeniro did not emerge chairman of the PDP. Mm. How did you feel about that? Well, quite frankly, I wait the. I've been with these people all along, and as you know, I've been in the PDP right from inception. And uh, most of the people who are contesting for the chairmanship position, uh, people who have known also over the years. And um, I saw Ajayan at that time as the, the person who will actually rebrand the PDP and uh, possibly restore its popularity again, having lost woefully in 2015. And um, like I said, I first and prayed, quite frankly, yes. You I did? Thought, yes, I did that God will actually give us the right person. And I actually conclude on him. But, you know, it's not every time that God answers your prayer. God answers prayer. Sometimes he doesn't answer prayer because he knows best. But you said God showed you at any role. Yeah, God showed, but it's not, it showed me in my, in, my, in my prayer. But that is not answering my prayer. If I saw him in my dream or in my vision, does that mean that uh, God has answered my prayer? So did you feel short changed after the convention? No, not, not quite. Well, I, I, the, as far as I'm concerned, I rather want to put the events of the convention behind us, but definitely people can manipulate you know, uh, the, the process. And I believe that the process was uh, uh, to some extent manipulated because, as you know, uh, the governors came together and decided who the guy was going to be, the chairman of the party. And if the process was allowed freely and fairly, without any interference, without any influence from the governors who actually control the delegates as they come to town from the various states, governors host them, they accommodate them, they take care of them, and so on and so forth. Uh, if I, uh, so, it's, so it's very difficult for some of them to actually vote according to the dictates of their conscience, you know, because of the fact that somebody is actually taking care of them. Yeah. So I believe that uh, the process wasn't quite free and fair, but. That is not the issue now. The most important thing is, how do we move forward? What did you mean by, I'm now born again? Well, uh, this born again issue came not as a result of the uh, PDP convention. I, I, I actually had an, uh, a program here also, and, uh, but I'm, I've, I've, said, I've said this time with that number on AIT political program, that the need for Nigerian politicians to apologize to the people and also ask for forgiveness from God is now. Because, you see, I believe, as, a, as somebody who has been in the game for decades, that we have committed everything known under the sun against the people who actually trusted us with power and we did not actually meet their expectations and aspirations. And I, I, I think that that is what is responsible for Nigeria not actually getting to where it's supposed to get. Because I have, I, I believe that God loves this country tremendously in a very, very special way. And that is why he has blessed us with abundant natural resources and also blessed us with qualitative human resources. So any country that is blessed with this too should flow with milk and honey. But we are not flowing with milk and honey. Today, as I talk to you, people are, some people have not eaten for the past three days or so. Are you so saying I that feel, now because you're out of power? Well, you see, there's a time that, you see, when you say you're born again, you, something must have actually must have reflected over issues. And then you now sort of become remorseful and repentant about things you, uh, you, you used to do before. For example, when I'm out of, yes, out of power has given me enough time. 
to get closer to my creator, it has given me enough time to uh, reflect over issues over the years. So that has now made me to be remorseful and repentant about certain things that we did before. Things I used to like doing before today, I had to, see, I, I had to do them. Can you give us an example? For example, if you ask me now, bring an election, either for myself or in favor of somebody I like, I will not do it because I believe that it is because our elections have not been credible. That is why we are not respected by the world community. For example, I cannot imagine during Obama's time, he came to Ghana twice. He couldn't come to Nigeria. And I asked, what is the reason? They say because Ghana's electoral process was credible and uh, they believe that their leaders emerge through credible process. And ours don't. We are our own leaders in my true fraudulent, fraudulent electoral process. Is that changing? Well, I believe that we need to, whether it's changing or not, we must change it. And that is why we, those of us who have realized that the need for us to repent and ask for forgiveness and be born again and do things in accordance with the dictates of the people and meet the people's expression, we must rise to the occasion and then fight and make sure that we do things as they are being done in, in advanced democracies. Because we can't continue like this and expect mm. anything to change. Well, Professor Adeniro was not happy. He has since moved to the SDP, Social Democratic Party. Mm. You didn't go with him. Why? Well, first and foremost, I, I believe that uh, we, you know, many people felt, oh, uh, I cannot sit, I cannot remain in a party where one governor is controlling the, the leadership and so on and so forth. Uh, so I can't, I, I, that's what some people are saying. But I said, to, I said also, I cannot run away from a party because of one person. Because the most important thing, if you see that something is wrong, remain there and correct it, rather than run away from it. Because when you run away from it, you are not, you are, you are not correcting the, 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 the wrongs. So I remain the PDP because I believe that there's future for the PDP. And I'm so happy to God in heaven that uh, you, your, your, your channel television covered our uh, apology last week, uh, uh, Thursday. So coming uh, last, 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 week, uh, last week, uh, Saturday. And, and I'm so happy because I'm vindicated. People were, telling, were laughing at me when I say I'm a born-again politician and that the need for us in Nigeria. I don't mean PDP politicians only. The political class in Nigeria must be born again. We must do things differently. We must change our ways of doing things. We must meet the expectations of the people. Otherwise, things will not change because nothing will change unless we change our attitude.